Here's how you can bring 2D images to life, just like Eman Gatsi with DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you everything, so make sure to watch till the end. Let's go. We start off from this site called FreePick, and you should find this image, and this is the exact same image which was in the Emans video, so download it. Next you wanna go to this free online photo editor called Photopea. Then I drop this AI file right here. So here's a couple things we need to do. First I'm gonna hide the background, then I'm just going to highlight this clock and hit delete from my keyboard. Or you can delete them from the layers. Then I highlight these and delete them. Okay, so everything's good, but the resolution is wrong. So come up here to the image, canvas size, and set it to 1920 by 1080. So here is the clip group. You wanna click this three times, so it should take you to the live shape tab. Alright, so just change the width something like 5000. It doesn't really matter, and then the X value 1 and the I 1. And now we can scale this. So select the table from the image and come up to the edit. Then go to the transform and scale. Then you wanna hold shift while dragging this box to the left side. And then same thing, drag this to the right side. Then you wanna select this white light and same thing. Go to the transform and scale it to the sides. So here is many layers and you wanna identify the hand layers. The hand consists of two layers. The first layer is the hand itself and the second one is the shadow. So I identify the right hand and it's here. I name it right hand. Then I identify the shadow and I name it right hand 2. Then same thing, left hand, okay it's here, left hand and then the shadow, left hand 2. Now I wanna drag these two down here. Hold shift and select all these four and then click this folder icon. And now we've put them into the folder. Then just rename it to hands and drag it above the objects layer. Now we have the image and the hands separated. Deselect the hands, come up to the file export as png i name this to character then i save it these select the objects and select the hands and then same thing export it as a png and i name it to hands and now we can move to resolve make sure your timeline frame rate is set to 60 fps i have here my images the character the left hand and the right hand so drag a fusion composition to your timeline and go to fusion we're gonna start off by getting a background node and connecting it to the media out you want to set the alpha of this background node to zero then you want to get the character and merge it here i'm gonna position it to the bottom of the from the merge node like this then i'm gonna get the right hand you can can name the node by pressing F2. So I name this to right hand. Then I get the left hand and name it to left hand. And then I merge this. We need to position this. So you can look at the fingers uh, when it's at the right position. So somewhere around here. I'd say right here. Then you want to get a color corrector node right here. And you want to decrease the saturation all the way to zero. Next you want to get a new background node. And now you want to connect the new background node to the media out and then you wanna merge the color character node here. Then from the new background node, uh, set the type to gradient. We're gonna keep the black color, but we're gonna change the white. So click this arrow here and then just change the white color to dark red. And then we position the point here and the black point right here. This one maybe, yeah. Okay, somewhere around here. Now I'm going to show you the first secret. We're gonna use a node called Grid Warp. Add a Grid Warp to the left hand. Set the I grid size and X grid size to 11. Then uh, decrease the magnet distance a little bit. So it doesn't affect uh, the whole image. Then you wanna copy paste it to the right hand. Now you wanna go to frame 0. And you wanna keyframe the mesh animation from both grid warp nodes. Then move to frame 120. And we're gonna start off from left hand. So you just start moving it to the right. These two points somewhere around here. So now, now it moves from the left side to the middle. And same thing for the right hand. Let's move it too. I move it to the middle, then I'm actually going to move the left hand back a little bit, so the right hand can come a little further. Then uh, go somewhere around 250, and now just reset the position, set the points where they were. They doesn't need to be exactly at the same position, just like roughly. Then the second step, so we're gonna do the dopamine bar. You wanna get a background node, and merge it right here. Also set the color from black to white, and then create a rectangle mask for the background. And you wanna untick the solid box, 
and now it disappears so increase the border width uh, then we're gonna shape it the mask is roughly as wide as this chair here then you want to bump up the corner radius to the max yeah something like this i actually decrease the border width highlight this then press shift and drag it away and create a background node you want to set the alpha to zero and you want to merge this one here and we're gonna do completely different node tree for the dopamine bar so you wanna then put this merge to the part of the node tree so the background node goes to the merge node and the merge node merges over this original background so now you wanna copy paste this under it so basically behind it and then from the rectangle mask you wanna tick the solid box and now it's all white so from the background node which we copy pasted you want to set the type to gradient and then change the black color, click the, the arrow which is in the black, then set the color to dark green, then set the white first dark green and then make it a little more brighter. Now just take these points and position them here, looks very nice. Then I make some room here and I get a text node and I merge it here, I type dopamine, I position it roughly in the middle of the bar. Uh, make it smaller something like this i'd say then i'm gonna take this molecule icon from the free pick so this will play as the dopamine icon so just download this so i'm gonna get it right here and merge it after the text and then you want to create a color corrector node here always when you're using color corrector node to transparent images go to the options tab and tick the pre divide slash post multiply box and then from the correction tab you want to increase the lift all the way and again just a little bit and then now we can just from the merge node scale it down and position next it position it next to the dopamine like there and then come up to the original merge node and we're gonna keyframe this so you want to go over to frame 85 and just set a keyframe there then go to frame 65 and you want to bring it behind this character somewhere around here then also at frame 65 you wanna set the blend to zero and keyframe it and go 10 frames forward and set it to one go to the spline and select only the center and then hit zoom to fit highlight everything hit f then press t and you wanna make the ease in to 80 and ease out maybe something like 10. uh actually Actually, I'm gonna highlight this graph and click this icon here and I'm gonna delay the animation by 10 frames. And I'm gonna take this line handle and pull it here. Then you wanna select only the blend and and also highlight it, hit F, make the ease out 0 and ease in maybe 50. And then we're gonna do the dotted line. So again, get a background node and change the color from black to white and you wanna merge it. So it's behind the node tree which we just created so then you want to get a polygon mask and you want to shape it first do the line which looks like this then click this cursor and highlight everything and from these handles create a nice curve like this and then untick the solid and bump up the border width and you see here down reads right click here for shape animation well right click it and click remove polygon one polyline and then you want to right click it again and hit publish. Now we can use this path with our mask paint node. So get a mask paint node. And you want to connect it to the polygon mask. You want to select this polyline stroke from the top bar. Then you want to go to the stroke controls. And here is the same thing. Right click here for shape animation. So right click it and then go to the connect to polygon 1 polyline and value. So now it reads the path from the polygon mask. Then some small adjustments. Make the softness to zero and decrease the size. Maybe something like one. The spacing maybe 1.5. Then finally go over to the polygon mask and change the paint node from merge to minimum. I'm gonna increase the size maybe to 0 0.013. And I'm gonna drag this here. Then increase the size a little. Couple more adjustments. So here. You want to add a displace node and then you want to add a fast noise node and connect it to the displace green arrow of the displace node so i have these kind of settings you can copy mine or do your own and then finally add a soft glow node and of course decrease the gain pretty much something like 0 0.5 maybe so i hope you learned something new if so check this video out see you there